what we will do next is share our thoughts on why we see what we see from these experiments. So the first thing is, why do we see the performance improvement from prompts to rag to tweaks? So with simple prompts, model lacks context. It produces great embeddings because we can see these embeddings do so well in the logistic regression model. However, it does not know how to pick among these embeddings, does not know which of these are relevant for the context. And that is why it does not do as well. With the RAG, it is able to get additional contextual detail from the query knowledge base. And because of that, the performance improves. Now, when we are able to tweak and adjust the weights of the last layer of the model, the model now reflects the training data. At least the last layer of the model now reflects the training data, and hence it is most suited to give better predictions for the problem at hand. And that is why we see the gradual improvement from simple prompt to rag to the tweaks. The next thing which we feel is that the way forward is smaller, a specific or domain specific large language models. You see, the large language models which are domain specific or task specific are being built on a narrower set of data. And therefore, the scope for hallucination is less and so the model will be more accurate. And then because they are lightweight, they can be tweaked easily without requiring a server farm on simpler machines. That means that a lot more applications can be developed by a lot of smaller organizations, making their use more widespread. And then the third thing is that since they can be easily tweaked and run on local systems, data security is less of an issue or not an issue at all. And so a lot of sensitive data, which might otherwise not be used for large language models, can now be used and therefore develop richer uh, applications. And the third thing which we feel is that image models open up these exciting possibilities for credit risk and fraud. So the image model did not actually convert the image of the data into some form of text, but worked directly with the pictures and still gave us these most amazing results. Something we did not share in the presentation, but we did some experiments where we took some of the top correlated variables uh, out of the model. And when we did that, the model's performance dropped because these variables were very highly correlated with the dependent variable. So taking them out should drop the performance of the model. But what was most amazing and exciting about this is that these statistical principles seem to carry over even when we are dealing with pictures and think of the possibilities because of that. Think of using real pictures of sets, equipment, offices, and feeding them directly into your credit risk model and think of the improvement one can get because of that.